You're watching HTN, Herrick's Television Network. to celebrate all the great work of Herrick Septa and to honor one of my teachers in the Related Arts Department, Chris Brogan. From the moment you walk into the TV studio lab at the high school, you know you have entered a very special place. You see students collaborating, writing and filming short videos, producing commercials, editing public service announcements and school events, directing, and broadcasting our daily announcements in a real newsroom setting called the Herricks Television Network. And then, of course, you see the person behind all of these activities, guiding, supporting, teaching, listening, and mentoring his students. Mr. Brogan has had such a positive impact and influence on so many of his students. He always calls them his kids because he cares deeply about them and really wants to see all of them succeed. The TV Studio Lab has really become a home away from home for many of our students. Mr. Brogan has created an environment filled with respect, acceptance, innovation, and problem solving. His kids truly adore him. And so, the man with the long ponytail, I want to congratulate you on this special night and to thank you for your dedication and your commitment to all of our students and to our wonderful Herrick School community. So when you're in the TV studio, you are no longer a student. You are suddenly an actor, a broadcaster, a cameraman, a newscaster, uh, a director, a writer, an editor. You aren't being, you aren't learning like you are in the other classes, you're learning by doing. It's as if you actually are taking on that role. You feel like you have real responsibility in the class itself. And it was a great opportunity to learn about a lot of stuff and to do so in my own way. At the TV studio, I got to try a lot of technical stuff. I got to do a lot of, a bit of 3D art on the side and use that 3D art in some of our productions. It was just a place where I could just basically do whatever I wanted. And my imagination was a limit and no other class was like that. And the man behind it, the man running it, was always so supportive of everyone, every endeavor, every interest, anything anyone can think of, he was there to help you out and to show interest and give you the tools you needed. And it was just a real pleasure and it was a great experience and it honestly helped prepare me for college life. Even though I wasn't getting into TV production, I was still getting into a field that combined technology and art and TV studio was a perfect place to prepare for that. Prepare for an environment where I have to be in groups all the time, helping manage people, being managed, being, being an active participant and making sure that everything gets done. It's a place where you can learn collaboration. Group projects are really important in the real world and there aren't enough group projects in high school, I feel. But TV studio, everything is a group project. Everything is about learning how to work with other people, how to be with other people. Even if you are doing your own thing, you're doing your own thing as part of a larger whole. And it's just a great place to be, and I couldn't imagine doing what I was able to do without it. Um, like so many other people, adolescents my age, uh, I couldn't find anywhere where I fit until I found TV Studio. Mr. Brogan took me in like a long lost son. Um, you've always been like a second father to me, and I just want to thank you for creating a place where I belong. Um, all right, uh, so I'd like to tell you all uh, a short story. Um, when I was uh, when I was in Harrods. 
I was always more of an introverted kind of guy in freshman year. And then some of my friends told me about this nice place for us to make movies, and the teacher is super cool. So the following year, I decided to take Mr. Rogan's TV studio, uh, TV studio techniques class. After that first day of class, my high school life turned from a bland, boring time to something more truly great. And uh, being able to express myself in an environment that my friends and I could become someone else in movies, somewhat like a fantasy world in high school. I mean, who wouldn't want to have fun and express themselves for a grade? Um, I remember I was a detective who had to investigate the school that was being mind-controlled by potato chips. We all had uh, some pretty good creative ideas there. Uh, Matt over here, he spent $11 on the budget for that movie. It was all potato chips. <laughs> um, after acting, my friends and I sat down and used the skills Mr. Brogan taught us in, uh, in the classes to edit chunks of, like, weird chunks of film and turn it into something truly beautiful. In addition, the equipment he provided. In, the, in addition to the uh, to the equipment he provided, Mr. Brogan always lent an ear to his students and supports them like they're his sons and daughters. I made great memories with my friends in the TV studio. I'd like to thank someone I deeply respect and I'm very grateful to my mentor, Chris Brogan. Wanted to say, but um, <laughs> I'm Mr. Brogan. <laughs> Thanks. It's all good. Look, it's bizarre enough that I'm even a teacher. Let's be real. Come on. You know? You know, I found out when I came to Herricks that there is no hero in education. You know? Just like my students, I love going to the movies. I'm a big geek whether I look it or not. You know, I saw Wonder Woman. It was pretty good. You know? But in education, really, there are no superheroes. We're all superheroes because we all support each other. From the Board of Education to the administrators, the chair people, the teachers, the supporting staff. Come on. We all have the same vision and the same dream. Just like these kids, I do not believe in labels. Something magical happens. Remember the first day? I said, something magic happens, guys, when you walk through that door. And it's not the air conditioning. And like, uh -oh, this guy's a little tough. Everybody gets treated the same. Isn't that what we all want in life, right? We all want to be treated the same. And that's all I do. There's no, you know, magical incantations. There's no spell I put on these kids. I treat everybody with respect and hopefully they give it back to me. I am so honored to be here. I really am. I'm even more honored, as somebody else said, that you really trust me enough to share these kids with me. It is the best greatest feeling in the world. I got married late in life. I do not have children of my own. Thank God I have these kids. I learn from them every single day what works and what doesn't. And as an artist, what better feeling than to give someone a concept, an idea, and see what they could do with it. There's no better feeling in the world. And that Maui connection was a very different kind of film, you know? <laughs> Every single day when kids come in, you never know what's going to happen. You never know what kind of day a kid has. 
You don't know what they're coming into the school with, what issues they face. So what better place than to come into the TV studio and feel like you're empowered and you matter like everybody else because at the end of the day, we are all the same. Special Ed, it doesn't matter what label you put on anyone because labels do not matter in education. Empowering, believing, trusting, making kids feel comfortable enough to take a creative chance, that's what matters the most. And I thank everybody in this district that has supported me over the years. I thank all of the parents, and I certainly thank all of my kids. I could not do anything without them. And quite honestly, they make me look like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> So thank you all so very much for this great honor. It's really incredible, and quite honestly, this honor is really shared by every single person in this district. When you honor any of us in any school, you're honoring all of us. You guys are starting out in elementary school what I'm getting in high school, so you guys are really making me look good. And I really appreciate that. Thank you all so very much. Quietly, we're going to line up the rabbits and we'll call them very quickly. <laughs>